What is up, y'all? It's your girl, brand new, and honey, I am back in the building. Listen, listen, this time, honey, I am back to talk about the Love and Marriage Huntsville trailer. I'm not going to play it because I don't have time to be dealing with YouTube and them trying to drag me, honey, for playing other folks audio we we got that type of time and we ain't on that time okay but i will be reacting to the trailer so without further ado let's get off into it so we see that it starts out with mr martell hook headed hope being charged with domestic violence in the third degree and all i got to say is got your ass mr postman <laughs> We see Stormy and Courtney, they are discussing, you know, what Martell got charged with, harassing communications. We see all the niggas is sitting up here trying to make excuses for Martell hook-headed Holt. You got Big Head Marceau talking about domestic violence is a big thing uh nigga you are violent in your household okay not so much with you putting your hands on tisha although i don't put it past you um you know you be ignoring your woman's wants needs feelings okay her aspirations okay all of that abuse neglect abandonment disrespect okay courtney says domestic violence is not the same as harassing communication it it see that's what i'm talking about with these men okay it it does not matter a lot of them feel like well they ain't did shit to you you know only you can only say they did something to you if they laid hands on you. But no, a lot of you all, you text too much. You blow up folks' phones. Martell has did that, and that is what narcissistic and codependent people do. They blow up phones. They make threats. They stalk you. Uh, they do smear campaigns on your name. So that means they assassinate your character to, you know, all of y'all mutual friends or mutual people that y'all both know, you know, like dealing with a narcissist, dealing with a toxic person is a lot because you don't just deal with them the one time that they put you through the abuse you go through another round of abuse when you leave the abusive marriage or relationship. And then you go through like another two to three more rounds with them stomping your damn name into the damn ground, trying to make you look uh, bad. Okay. Which is what Martell hook headed Holt did when he played that video of Melody, you know, doing what she was doing. See, he, he not going to come to y'all and tell y'all what he did, uh, to make her go postal like that on that video. He had what stolen her money. He stole her money, never returned it. Okay. So yeah, he is, oof, and these niggas defending him. It's like, what is, what is wrong with y'all? I'm not shocked. It's par for the course on this show. These are the same people that thought that it was okay to hang out with Martell while he was with his mistress, while he was married. They thought that was okay. So I'm not shocked by, you know, their reaction to him being arrested. Marceau says Martel needs an intervention. Maurice says the children are seeing this and, you know, and it's unfortunate they are seeing this, but it is their father. Those children, they know that it's their father that is the aggressor when it, when it comes to, um, you know, him and their mother, they know that it's, it's dad. Okay. That's a plum fool. It's dad that stepped outside of his marriage and had a baby with a side chick with a hood booger. Okay. It was dad that did all of that. It's dad that be blowing up mom's phone. It's dad that uses us as leverage 
to try to break mom down and control her and put her in lowest terms. Okay. You saw what Martel was doing um, when Melody was out here working. He complained that she had too many babysitters. Meanwhile, when she called to get him to watch his own children, oh, he's too busy. And I know I went through it. You know, you're trying to um, work. You're trying to travel. They don't like that. They don't like that because you left them and you are supposed to um, stay available for some nigga that you don't even want. You ended the relationship. I remember what I was told. You chose to be a single mother. And when that bitch said that, he meant that. And what he meant by that is, yeah, you know, uh, I know you want to go out. I, I know you want to go out on dates, but I'm not going to help you with that child. I will make up excuses and be there for, you know, uh, uh, my other woman's child. And that's why till this day, that nigga will never see my child ever, ever. I will never help you ever again in life ever. See, I don't forget what people do to me. I don't forget how they treat me. Cause I know whatever you did the first time to me, that's what you meant. And bitch, I mean what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> That's what I always tell people. Watch how you treating people. You you could be treating somebody like shit today, and then you're going to have to pay for that, what, 10 years down the line. You're going to have to pay for that. Okay? But, yeah. We see Hook headed talking to Miss Marlene about him being arrested for a text message he sent Melody over a year ago. And we know how Miss Marlene feel about her son. That my boy, that my boy, he, he don't deserve to be arrested. Okay. So what? He didn't want to watch his own damn kids. So what? He went out and stepped out on his wife and made a baby with a side chick. So what? Ain't nobody perfect in this life. That boy didn't deserve to be arrested. Melody should have more of a forgiving spirit. Absolutely not. I ain't got to forgive that raggedy, broke-ass nigga. He ain't shit. He ain't shit. I swear, I, I don't want nothing to do with him. Ain't that right, mama? I don't do the ghetto. Man, you got a black ass soul. You know, you you could, you know, really try to work with Martel and be a better co-parent. Okay, you can depend on bitches like Tisha, honey, to have that type of logic, child. But we saw in this little trailer, it looked like she on male side. But yes, Tisha was the same one when Telltale Signs came out and she said, oh, this is male bashing. Did he or did he not get another woman pregnant? That ain't male bashing. Shit, we just telling the truth up in the song. That's what Melody did. Were you or were you not a side chick? Because if you wasn't, she wouldn't have came out with a side chick of the year award. Like, child. See, people want to do you all types of wrong. They want to do you all types of dirty, but you can't sing about it. You can't talk about it. They'll tell me I can't write about it. I have always made a coin, honey, off the people that have tried to dog and disrespect me. Okay? Ain't no shame up in my game. How you doing? We also see Melody talking to her brother, Marcus, darling. Ooh, I love how Marcus gathers Martell. Get him, get him. But uh, she's uh, telling him about a video that her and Martell did, you know, when they were married. Um, and, you know, they was having a good good time, you know, you know, being, you know, sexual with each other. That's what a husband and wife do okay they you know they all up on each other but yeah he go he was gonna take it and put it out there and they will do stuff like that these narcissists because everything goes back to punishing you everything goes back to i want her to look like a dirty slut whore um see 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 she's no different than my side chick he he tries to compare male to ariane all the time ain't no damn comparison 
Okay, even uh, Stevie Wonder, honey, can see ain't no damn comparison. Because that other one's child. She got a face that only a mother can love. And even she turned her damn head. Okay, I mean, I'm just saying. Martell is telling his mammy that Melody is bullying him. Child, bye. That nigga, he is so pathetic. He is so desperate. He is so pathetic. He is worthless. And I regret having... All my kids by that by that raggedy ass nigga that resides on the first floor. Absolutely, I do. We see Marceau. Uh, he gets a um questioning uh Martel Hook headed Holt about the interview that Martel did with Tasha K. We all know that he had to go lower see narcissists are competitive everything is a game to them they feel like they have to win and you want to know why they feel like that because they are losers they are losers that do pathetic and and ridiculous things for attention you know their soul is just so pathetic you know so yeah i know a loser when i see one hello martel um yeah she went low and i had to go lower a lot of these men that are narcissists very feminine that's why a lot of women cheat on them and have side niggas because they don't respect you you know you are not a enough you are a whole bunch of broken pieces okay you are in a whole bunch of pieces child and trust me whether they they want to admit it or not maurice and marceau they know that martel is feminine they know he's too overly emotional he's overly reactive he loves having a screaming fight with a woman like he's that guy okay a lot of these men ladies they love arguing they and they don't know how feminine it makes them look yes you can be a man you can be passionate but make your point then you walk away don't keep going back and forth like a little bitch you know like (laughs) do you have a vagina nigga Do you have a bag that has swag? Okay, what you you need to act like you got a peen, if you know what I mean. I mean, I'm just saying, okay, like for real. Some of y'all y'all confused about who you are, okay? And I am here to guide you. Okay, back to reality. Back to life, back to reality. So we see Martel repeating over and over again, almost like he's chanting, she got me arrested. She got me arrested. But she, and and we saw on that Tasha K interview, what did he keep saying? Oh, I don't want to say anything nice about Melody. Yeah, I, I don't want to mention how attractive she is. No, no, no. I don't want to mention how smart she is. I'm, I, I'm here to trash Melody. That's how he was speaking. That's why, in my opinion, it wasn't worth, you know, like, I don't know why Tasha K did an interview with him, but, you know, that's neither here nor there, honey. Um, and then she was, y'all remember how she, she was, uh, saying little stuff about Mel and how she can't sing and, you know, see Martel, he loves hearing all that negative stuff about Mel. That way he feel like, oh, I got some support. Oh, I, I must be right. And no, Melody, she got enough of a voice. Okay. To where she put out several hot singles, Okay, y'all know I'm more of a Candace supporter in, in terms of her music career. I am, you know, I got more of Candace's music, but I do love some of Mel's songs. So yeah, her shit is good enough. And I think people are, um, you know, they they hate on that. They hate on her ability to make money. Like, listen, okay, don't hate the player, hate the game. You put her in a position to where she needed to sing them damn songs. So, child, bye. Oh, so we also see Marceau and Martel going back and forth. 
And and Martel tells Marceau, you ain't never experienced this. And Marceau says, well, I chose not to get a divorce. And that's why I really question if Marceau really loves Tisha, because it seems like, like I've heard him engage in this type of talk before, where he said one of his aunties told him, you know, never divorce your wife. Everything can be worked out and, you know, stay for the kids, all that bullshiggity. Okay. So yeah, that was, I don't know. I just, that, that little part right there, I think it went over a lot of people's heads, but it didn't go over mine. Like I really question why Marceau is still married to Tisha. I don't feel like it's love. It's more of like, I love that I get to control her ass. Okay. I love that I'm, I get to be the big man and, and make all the decisions and she gets to bow down and acquiesce and act subservient and act like the help, honey. Okay. Tisha, if you had any sense, honey, you would you would be over there making shit pies. Not sweet potato pies, shit pies. <laughs> I smell shit. <laughs> that is so funny from the uh from the help from that movie, honey. That that was funny. Oh, that remind me of life. What did Martin say? You got any nigga pies? <laughs> Child, just that's funny, honey. So we see Martel doing what he does best. Okay, he want Ariane to have some company. He don't want her to be the only side chick. Okay, so he confronts Chris Fletcher about Nell being his side chick. And, you know, and we know that Chris Fletcher's ex-wife and daughter came out and said that, yes, he was married and Nell, you know, was messing with him or whatever. But Chris Fletcher denies that, honey. Okay. I was like, oh, shit. And that Chris Fletcher, honey, no, he fine, honey. Ooh, child. <laughs> The side chick of the year award that belongs to you. Ooh, child, we see Miss Nell saying, yes, was he married? Yes, did I know? No, I didn't know. And you ain't stopped what you was doing either. I mean, I'm just saying, <laughs> you better keep them draws on, Miss Nell. She looking kind of uh, hot in the pants, honey, okay? Y'all know I adore Miss Nell. I really do. And um, I am so interested in her and Tisha Latifa going back and forth. Miss Nell, hide your valuables, hide your food stamp card, your social security number, Destiny back on here. Um, you go be around Tisha. We know both of them hide your lottery tickets because they say that the girl Destiny she liked to steal those too. I mean, I'm just saying this is allegedly, honey. You want to hide all your valuables, honey. I'm just saying you go be around the Scots. I mean, the Knots because they are not who they say they are. Child hook headed is caught trying to call Miss Nail a side chick again. Y'all remember what he did to Kimmy. Okay, and the thing with Kimmy is, it's like, Kimmy, we told you Martell wasn't no damn good, but you didn't believe nobody until he started to do certain shiggity to you. Okay, but yes, Martell is desperate for somebody else to be a side chick on this show. That way, he can feel good about Ariane's identity. That way, she won't be by herself on that bench. Well, she the only fool on the bench still, but I'm just saying. Child, we see Miss Nell and Tisha going back and forth. Tisha feel like Miss Nell is fronting. You know, Miss Nell has been around her, but she, I, I don't know. I, what I got from it was she feel like Miss Nell is, you know, being phony. But Tisha, girl, you are not anything to brag about. I mean, I'm just saying the way you be copying and pasting folks' identities. I mean, I'm just saying. Okay, but see, Tisha don't know how to look at herself, okay? But honey, we see the imposter syndrome. Then we see Melody and um, Big Toenail Head, I almost forgot my name for him, 
we see them going back and forth. Oh, he has on a black t-shirt. Wasn't he getting on Melody and her t-shirt line that ain't about shiggity, according to him? But yeah, more copying and pasting, I see. So we see Marceau doing what most uh, niggas do, which is blaming you for the man that you married or had the kids with. And then I thought it was interesting. He tells her, you had you chose to have three kids. Now, everybody knows all four of Melody's kids, you know, are Martell's. But I was over there on... um. Sherelle's World's um, channel, and she was saying that uh, people, it's a rumor going around that that man, Dan Crane, um, who Melody who was allegedly having the affair with, wasn't well, no damn affair, y'all know I don't. I don't care what Melody was doing with her cootie cat, honey. You are free to do whatever the hell you want when you got a raggedy ass husband like Martell Hook had a hope. But they trying to say that the man Dan Crane is Sugar Mama's real dad, allegedly. So that chiggity is crazy. Y'all get in the comments. Let me know what you think about that. They already put all this paternity stuff to rest when Miss Wanda was last on the show at the reunion. Because remember, she was trying to question Sugar Mama's paternity, you know? So yeah, it's, it's crazy. So the new lady on the show had some dealings with Martell and Stormy is picking up a vibe between Martell and the new lady. I was like, ooh, child, Martell, you ain't nothing but a hoe. You a hoe, you know you a hoe. How do you know? Because your history shows us so. You a hoe. (laughs) So the lady says her and Martell go way back. Martell says they went to school with each other, okay? She's one of them. She's a destiny. And was it me? I haven't gotten to this point yet, but to me, it seemed like Melody believes Destiny and Martell may have slept together. She really believes that because she didn't feel sorry for Destiny, Moses, and Sonny. That whole situation, Melody, honey, was not feeling sorry for Destiny at all. And I was like, oh, oh, woo. So Martell says to the guys, yeah, we didn't do nothing. I guess him and the new lady, we didn't do nothing. That's why I don't remember her ass. And Courtney was like, you need to stop talking to so many women. That's why your ass is in the situation your ass is in now. I know that's right. Oh, we see Melody talking to Kimmy. Kimmy got this little natural look. It's all right. It's curly. It's cute. We see her talking to Latifa, honey, who we know go run right back and be all up Destiny's ass. Okay, but we hear Mel telling Kimmy and Latifa, Destiny don't care about no girl code. Okay? I don't put nothing past people. That's what Melody said, honey. So we see Carlos's podcast. We see that uh, Melody is the first guest. So that's going to play out on the show. That's going to be good. And he gets to bringing out Sonny and Moses at the live podcast. Ooh, Carlos, girl, you is messy. (laughs) But I'm here for it, okay? (laughs) I mean, I'm just saying, listen. (laughs) Carlos said, Honey, I um I could give you what you want. <laughs> okay, he was on his uh sweet tea from uh Mary the Medicine. I could give you what you want, what you need, and I'm ready, honey. Okay, and if you stay ready, honey, you ain't gotta get ready. And sweet tea over there still trying to get ready to give Gregory what he wants and what he needs, but honey, that's neither here nor there. So we see Sonny, she's talking to Latifa. I don't know why she's talking to her. We know that half a can't halfway talk. But Sonny get the telling Latifa, yeah, I was Destiny's producer, but she didn't talk to me about Moses. I don't believe that. Why would Destiny lie about that? Well, why would she lie about some of the other child? I don't know. I can't look. I can't hurry up and, and be on Destiny's side, but I don't believe that. Okay, I believe 
that there is something about destiny that we go find out more about and we go hear more about it from Sonny and from Moses. They have, they know something about her character because I'm telling y'all, you into it with all these people all the time, destiny, everybody can't be lying, girl. We, we see what you tried to do to La Chick-fil-A. Um, he had an issue with you. Mel had the issue with you. Sonny and Moses said, uh, we found love. Okay. In a hopeless place, honey, they don't have no loyalty for you. So there's something missing. Mark my words, right? So Latifah get to telling, um, Sonny, yeah, you was pursuing a friendship with destiny and, and Sonny, like, I was pursuing a friendship. I don't need that half of, I ain't broke. I ain't selling lottery tickets. Okay. I mean, this is what Sonny is saying. This is not what Miss Robinson is saying. I'm just trying to, you know, talk to the people the way Sonny would talk to the people. <laughs> I know y'all like, girl, shut up. <laughs> Sonny said, honey, do you have to call and ask for permission to date somebody's ex? Ooh, child. Child, the people ain't going to do that. Okay. They draws is wet. They ready to go, honey. Okay. I mean, I'm just saying. Listen, I don't think that Sonny cares for destiny. I think there's some type of disdain there. And like I told y'all, when you don't care for a bitch, hell yeah, you'll fuck her man, you'll fuck her father. Hell, you'll fuck her son. He over 18. Okay, so it, it's a little sum of that because uh, Sonny is so unbothered. She like, girl, what is wrong with you, Latifah? And Latifah like, you got a dark soul, Sonny. You just be, you just be going with other people's exes. Destiny was your friend. I wouldn't want a friend like you, Sonny. Ooh, child, we see Nell um, asking uh, Melody how she feel about uh, Destiny's producer marrying uh, her ex. And Melody says she don't give a, she doesn't give a shiggity about it. I was like, oh, oh, you didn't burn your dirty drawers, honey, with, um, you didn't tore your dirty drawers, Destiny. Okay, with Melody. Melody said, not today and tomorrow. Don't look good either. Absolutely not. I don't want shit to do with Destiny. She is raggedy as hell. And as far as I'm concerned, she could go back to selling them damn lottery tickets. We see Destiny confront Moses about how he love bombed her. And um, they was going to have a baby together and name the baby Justice. And ooh, ah. ooh, we see Melody saying, you get what you put out. Ooh, child. Do you care to ex expound on that, uh, Miss Melody? <laughs> Melody knows something about destiny and it's not favorable. I'm telling you guys, I have this inkling. I'm thinking that maybe she feels like, cause didn't she, um, accuse destiny of calling Martell phone in the middle of the night. So I think she probably feels like they probably messed around. What do you guys think of that? Is that too far off? I don't think it's too far off. That's what I'm getting from Melody. We see Martell. We got side dudes and side chicks. See, he like all this first floor lingo. That way he, you know, he fit right on in. Okay, he can, him and his side chick, they can fit right on in and blend in with the damn crowd. I told y'all. Child, we see Sonny telling Destiny, I'm the wife. Okay, I'm what you want to be. <laughs> she told, she put a quad on her. <laughs> she said, I'm what you want to be, honey. I'm about to be, I'm about to be a wife. But is Moses a hood bugger? I heard he be out in the street, honey, uh, selling little dime bags and stuff. I mean, I'm just saying that's what I had heard and stuff. I'm just saying. 
So let's see what the people think about this trailer. One person says, when Melody bring the shortcut out, you know the mess is rolling. You know that's right. Absolutely. I was not here this season for Martell's raggedy ass. I was not here um, for Destiny's raggedy ass. She need to go back on, on the corner and sell them damn lottery tickets. Absolutely, because I, I want no parts of her. I want no parts, okay? Because, honey, Melody said what goes around comes around and what goes up must come down. And the things you do, they come back to you. I know that's right, honey. That's what that's what Melody has said. OK, so another person says this show is like a toxic ex that we can't leave alone. I know it's like you keep saying you go leave it alone. And then I never tell y'all that I'm going to leave the show alone. Okay, because the show just keeps on giving, honey. And it's giving. That trailer was good. Good with a T. Now, the person says, not Marceau saying he's been through what Martel has been through, but he chose to stay married. What? Yep. Now, the person says, Mel be cussing Marceau out like the homegirls and he be tickled. Now, the person says, Mel filed charges after she heard the audio of Coleslaw giving details of her and Martel's plot to release the tape of he and Melody's intimate moment. Another person says, wait a minute. The Scots men are holding hotel accountable now. Wow. And it only took seven seasons. Another person says, Melody and Martell matching each other's energy is good TV. And it's nail, period. Another person says, it's giving so proper digest realness. And I'm here for it. Ooh, Carlos, y'all messy. Um, another person says this season is going to be real messy. Another person says Mel is with the ish this season and I'm here for it. Another person says Mel dancing while Nell and Tisha argue is hilarious. Oh yeah, that's going to be good. I can't wait for Miss Nell to check Tisha's ass, honey. Another person says I can see that Kim, Kimmy and Marbury still don't have a storyline and Stormy is trying to act like she care about Mel. Oh, child. Another person says male threatening Marceau while talking about DV is crazy. How is that uh, crazy? Another person says you cannot co-parent with a narcissist. Another person says Martel ain't learned a thing. I know that's right. Another person says Marceau is so in love with Melody. I told y'all, didn't I tell y'all that he has an affinity for that woman? He does. He he really does. He really admires her. He has a crush on her. I could tell how he be looking her up and down and around and around. I, you know, I see, I see things. Okay. But anyways, honey, that's all I got to say about this old nasty trailer. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I am your girl brand new and I will check you guys out in the next video.